A, B, C, the question here says A, B, and C are three points on a circle such that the angles subtended by the chords A, B, and A, C at the center O are 90 degrees and 110 degrees respectively. So let's let's construct that first. A, B, C are three points on a circle. So let's say this is the circle, right? A, B, C are three points. So let's say this is point A, here is point B, and let's say this is point C. Okay, and this is the center O. The center O. So our A, B, C are the three points such that A, B, and A, C. These are the two chords. So A, B is one chord, and A, C is the other chord. All right. I'll just mark the center once again. A, C is a chord here, and let's say this is the center O. Okay. So he says the angles subtended by these chords at the center O are 90 degrees and 110 degrees respectively. So angles subtended by A, B. Look at this. This angle is 90 degrees. Okay. A, B is a chord. Angle subtended at the center is 90 degrees. And the angle subtended by the chord A, C. So this is A, C. Angle subtended by A, C. A, C is this chord, right? Angle subtended by A, C at the center is 110 degrees. This is 110 degrees. So basically, we know two of these angles. He's asking us to find out. And then he says, suppose that the center O lies in the interior of angle B, A, C. So that only means that center O is inside the circle, right? So suppose the center O lies in the interior of angle B, A, C. Then what is the supplementary angle of B, A, C? Supplementary angle of B, A, C. Supplementary angle of B, A, C. Now, one simple way to answer this is, see, if you construct the chord B, C, if you join points B and C, so we can say B, C is another chord. Yes or no? Now look at this. Center O will have an angle of 360 degrees. Sum of all these three has to be 360. Of which we already know that one angle is 90 degrees, other is 110. You're getting it? Look at this part. This is 110 degrees. This is 90 degrees. So what should be this angle? It should be 360 minus 110 plus 90. So this comes out to be what? 160 degrees. So, and, and we know that angle subtended by a chord at the center is twice the angle subtended by uh, the same chord at any point on the circle. So, we can say angle uh, angle BOC will be twice the angle BAC. This is based on the property of, you know, angle subtended by a chord at the center and uh, any other point on the circle, right? So, at the center, it subtends what angle? 160 degrees. So, from this, we can conclude that angle BAC is equal to 160 degrees by 2, which comes out to be... 80 degrees, 80 degrees, but this is not the answer, right? Then don't mark option 280 as the answer in a hurry. The question is not asking us to find angle BAC. The question says, what is supplementary angle of BAC? Supplementary angle of BAC is what? Supplementary angle of BAC. That means angle that makes BAC plus this as 180. Supplementary angle of angle BAC will be how much? From 180, you subtract BAC. So this comes out to be 100 degrees. Option three. All right. You can you can also solve these questions using uh, you know properties of isosceles triangles. Like for example, if you look at angle A uh, in the triangle ABO, in the triangle ABO, AO and BO are two equal sides because both of them are equal to the radius of the circle, right? So these two sides are equal. If these two sides are equal, then the other two angles must be equal. So we can say this is 45 degrees. This angle is 45 degrees and this angle also is 45 degrees. Similarly, if you look at triangle AOC, AOC in this triangle, see OC is equal to AO or AO is equal to OC. Why? Again, these two are equal to the radius of the circle. If these two sides are equal, then these two angles must also be equal. Now, already one of the angles is 110. So some of the remaining two angles should be 70. 70 when you divide equally, it will be 35 each. So this is 35 degrees and this angle will be 35 degrees. Now, if you look at the complete angle A, angle A is how much? One side we have got 45, the other side we have got 35. So complete angle A now comes out to be 35 plus 45, which is 80 degrees. And we need supplementary of angle A. So 180 minus 80, 100 root dance. So either do it using this property of isosceles triangles here or follow the property of course, right? Whichever way you take it, final answer is going to be option 300 degrees.